Yeah, I'm Chris Pennington with uh, Penwell Industries, owner of Penwell Industries. And uh, we are the company that builds iconic elements around the world. This here is a full-scale replica of the uh, external tank and the SRBs. This is the hardware that delivered the uh, shuttle to space. Uh, it's uh, an actual size replica and uh, built here at the uh, Kennedy Space Center complex for Delaware North. So. Robert Wuprzynski from Penwall Industries. I've been the Vice President of Production and Engineering for a number of years. And, uh, you know, we part of a team that put this thing together and kind of brought it here to the Space Center to, to create the archway to the Shuttle Atlantis. Um, so, um, you know, while this element is, you can only see a portion of it probably here in the camera, it goes up 185 feet. And, you know, this thing was all brought in as, as a full scale replica so that the public could see you that they had never seen. You, indeed, a lot of the astronauts, a lot of people from NASA had not seen this thing like this because the shuttle is usually mounted to the front of it. But, uh, you know, it's all set up. It was engineered for 165 mile hour winds, making hurricane forces come off the Atlantic. And it, it sits on a yeah, roughly 70 by 40 footing, 8 feet deep, that has 56 uh, 14 inch pylons that go 57 feet down on the ground. And that'll keep the overturning moment, that'll keep it up in the air, um, which is always a good thing. And uh, there's eight columns of each SRB that bears the weight and takes the whole structure. It was brought in, in in sections, 40 foot long sections that were assembled and welded as they went up in the air. And the ET is completely supported by two beams that transverse between the two SRBs. And um, this thing is, it is set to move. It, it'll move at about 165 miles an hour. You can see it shift about 16 inches off center at the very top. But it was designed that way to be able to give it some life, to give it um, a structure that can be cantilevered. Um, you know, we designed it a little bit differently um, in different environments. And this one we felt was best to have a little bit of movement to it. But uh, all the fiberglass exterior, so um, it pretty much lasts a lot longer than any of us. Uh, there's no metal to rust. Uh, the structure on the inside is all steel, but it's all been coated uh, and protected from the weather. Um, there's several hatches to get inside for maintenance and service looking at it. There's a full electrical system on the inside. Um, there's some of the pumps that, that take moisture out, the, the warning light up at the top. Lighting protection, there's an air terminal. Um, kind of in place, a couple of little details up there at the very nose of the ET that doesn't, it's not original, but it had to be for static display. And um, that's, in a nutshell, that's the replica of the ET and SRV here at Canada Space Center.